Hi guys, Jared here, and this is a video I've wanted to make for a little while now, um, but I wanted to wait as close as possible to the launch of the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox One, which I failed because I've posted this a little bit too early, but, but it doesn't matter. Um, I wanted to find out how you guys feel about this next generation. I'm in an interesting position. I've been gaming for years, like my whole life. And, um, you know, when the NES came out, I, I, I mean, I was a young, I was a young lad back then and I wasn't overly excited. I wasn't following magazines and stuff like that. Not at that age. Um, however, I was when the Super Nintendo came out and the Sega Genesis and the TurboGrafx-16 and the, you know, all that sort of stuff. And I was very excited. Like that was probably the most excited I ever was. When we transitioned to 3D with the next generation, I was still excited, but it wasn't... I, I guess it's because I was getting older, right? That I just wasn't as excited as I was with, um, like, the, the leap from the uh, old 2D into newer 2D. Um, I know it was very exciting time when we did transition to 3D for many, many people, but I, for whatever reason, I just... It wasn't as excited as I was back then. Now... This trend has continued throughout my entire life. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older. Um, I don't know. It's definitely not that I've lost interest in gaming because I surely haven't. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing these videos. This channel wouldn't exist. The site wouldn't exist. So I'm still very, I'm a very passionate gamer. But moving into this next gen, I've got to be really honest with a lot of you. I know Sony and Microsoft, if they see this video, they're not going to be really happy about this, but whatever. Um... I'm not excited, like at all. I could honestly give a crap. Um, I I don't know why. I, I I'm a retro gamer at heart. It is true. I love 2D gaming. Like in my in, in my perfect world, like uh, the launch title for PlayStation 2 would be some 2D game that would like just would blow our world. It would just be like, oh my god, this is the greatest thing ever. But no, but seriously, like, I don't, um, I don't know why. I, I look at all the launch titles for the PlayStation 4 and for the Xbox One, and I'm not excited. The, the, I mean, the most excited um, game, or the, the game that's got me the most, at least, intrigued would be Crimson uh, Dragon for the uh, Xbox One, just because I'm such a big fan of the Panzer Dragoon series. But even that, like, that sort of climaxed with Panzer Dragoon Orta on the Xbox, the original Xbox. And, I mean, I'm, I'm very curious to see what this one's going to be like, but I don't know. I just, I don't know what it is. I think it's because the, the leap forward ha, has just basically been getting smaller and smaller and smaller these last, like, two generations. Like, when we went from PlayStation 1 to PlayStation 2, that was, that, I consider that the leap that we had from, like, NES to SNES, okay? Or from 8-bit, if you're a Master System and Genesis fan, like, hardcore, to like that. Do you know what I mean? Where it was very rudimentary. Like, everything was very, very basic in um, the PlayStation 1 um, era. But then when you went into the PlayStation 2 era, suddenly it was like, wow, you know? Like, polygons were much smoother and, and it just everything looked much, much better than it did before. Now, when we went from PS2 into this current generation, again, there was a nice leap forward, but I think it was just, it wasn't as immediate. Because we had the Xbox and the GameCube, which were already, like, substantially more powerful than the PlayStation 2 was, I, I just wasn't as impressed. Like, you guys watched my um, PlayStation 3 and my Xbox 360 launch memories, and I was disappointed in both of those situations. And I, I think maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. But I know, like, right now, I look at these videos for some of these games, and I'm like, yeah, they look okay. Like, you know, it looks good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to purchase both of these platforms. I've got a whole truckload of games coming in, and it's all, you know, if I'm going to do most of this is actually going to be for the site. And I know a lot of people be like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's for the site. But that's the honest truth. Um, I'm not buying the games, right? And if I didn't have the site and I didn't have the games coming in, I really wonder what I would do. Because um, I'm not 
thrilled. I mean, it, like when I got the Wii U, I wasn't overly like, oh, wow, greatest system ever. In fact, I didn't use the damn thing for ages. I played Mario, and I was like, yeah, this is cool. You know, and that was pretty much it. So I don't know what's really going on. I don't know if it's just me. Uh, I don't know if you guys share the opinion as well. If there's, if you're basically like, yeah, man, this, I'm not, I don't give a damn about this generation. Or if you're the exact opposite. If you're like I was all those years ago when we jumped from uh, the 8-bit to the 16-bit days. Were you, are you super excited? And if you are, what, what, what excites you about this next gen? For me, personally, I'm, I'm not sure because I'm not excited so, I mean, it'll be interesting to see all, like, you know, our favorite franchises looking better than they ever have before. But to me, that's not always enough. Like, I've been getting very bored with a lot of uh, releases. It's funny, but, like, over the last little while, I've really enjoyed some of the more quirky or original games. Like, check out the video I did for Rain or for Puppeteer. Those were really unique games. And... and I don't know, but during like the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 era, I thought we got a lot more of those. Like people were willing to take more risks. And I understand the prices were a lot lower in terms of development costs. But this gen, I don't know, it's like people just don't feel like they're I don't feel like there's enough risk takers out there. And unfortunately, I don't think gaming now is so mainstream that I just don't know if those games would even be successful. Like look at Puppeteer. The game is bomb, like it's a colossal failure. But that's an amazing game. If you have a PlayStation 3 and you're looking for something really different, check that game out. I mean, it's really something. And, I mean, I am a sucker for, like, the big blockbuster titles, like The Last of Us. I thought that was incredible. And I, I'm more excited about what Naughty Dog might do next gen than I am for almost anything else, like, uh, that's been announced or that could get announced. Like, Halo, for example. I used to be a major Halo fan. But it's run its course. I'm I'm done. Like Halo Four was all right. Like I know some people they loved it and this and that. But I I find I don't know what it is. It's like there's too many sequels now. Everything is sequel, 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 sequel. Uh, what happened to the the you know back in the day? You had to wait three, four years before you got a sequel to a game if you ever got it. Look at Zelda, one of my favorite series of all time. The gap between Zelda Two and A Link to the Past, it may not have been long, it may have only been three or four years, but it was enough, like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, it made you crave the next game in the series, and I just find there's just been too much stuff, like this generation. Look at Assassin's Creed and Call of Duty. We're getting yearly iterations, and I understand, I understand what, you know, why people love these games so much, but I don't know. Anyways, that's, that's, just me. I just, I don't know. I'm losing that sort of passion or not really passion, but the excitement of uh, these next gen systems. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so I'm wondering, what about you guys? Is anyone feeling the same way about me or uh, about me, the same way I'm feeling? Or, um, or are you totally, totally excited? I'd really like to hear your opinion on this. Because, I mean, me and a lot of my friends are starting to feel the same way. Like, we just don't really have the, the same drive to jump into the next gen and all, like, gung-ho, yeah! I mean, this might totally change when I get the controller in my hand for the first time and be like, you know, like, wow, this is really incredible. But I don't know. I don't know. Right now, I'm just, I'm on the fence as to, um, like, my feelings about this next gen and how excited I am. So by all means, leave a comment. I'd really love to hear, uh, hear what your thoughts are about this next generation of uh, gaming and how you feel. Are you excited? What are you looking forward to? Um, you know, the whole thing. I was going to go on and talk about some of the features that have been cut and the fact that there's no like backwards compatibility and stuff anymore. But you know what? I'm going to leave that in your... Um, I'm going to put the ball in your court. Because for me, it's just the overall excitement level. It just isn't there. So, um, yeah, by all means, leave a reply. I'd love to hear from you. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon with another one. Take care. Do, do, do.